welcome to inest this is tarik now i am going to show how to run react native in android fragment so uh, let's open terminal for installing react native first so this is the command for installing react native sudo npm install hyphen g react CLI. So it's asking for password. So now it is installing the React Native. It got installed. So React Native version. Okay, CLI version. Now uh, we are going to create one sample project for running that React Native. So this is the command for creating the React Native server project. So React Native init. This is our project name. So what we can give is React Native. Well, let's give fragment. Hmm. So now it's creating the React Native project. So uh, it contains Android and iOS stuff. So we'll check first in Android. Mm -hmm. actually this is a extra information is installing required cocoa parse dependency let it install we'll open next tab and we'll see that uh, the project structure uh, so react native fragment okay this is what we created so what under we have app.js android app.json and we will this is for uh, javascript support index.js and ios so this is the main thing package.json let's see the package.json so this is our project name this is the react version and react native version so two different only currently we are going to use okay so just now we create a react native project so we need to install that dependency so for that we need to do npm install so it will install these dependencies so uh, now it's uh, react native dependency and all installed successfully so now we'll start the run we we'll start the server sorry so this is the command for starting the server this we already know this command but now i'm going to start run without cache so for that we need to run like this npm start reset cache so it will start the server with reset cache okay now server is started now we will open the android studio for importing this project <coughs> okay and studio okay it's loading android studio yeah so i am opening that project with open existing project so this is what we created react native fragment this is the android project so we will open yeah. so now it's indexing and uh, is singing the gradle so it will take some time for uh, grid build mm. so it uh, synced successfully grid is uh, done successfully before running this uh, default project we'll check that uh, stuff and all what it's created automatically so this is the main activity before that we'll check and admin manifest so here the application this is the our this app main application and uh, this is the main act, launch activity 
so in that main application only we are creating react native host uh, for loading the react native and in main activity we are uh, extend the react activity so here only we are sending the registry name okay so this was some error let it be we'll check gradle so this is the auto generated gradle by react native here we can see the dependency what dependencies are added so it will refer locally and uh, it's uh, implementing the react native facebook react native and this apply the plugin from uh, node modules react native gradle okay now we'll run this project selecting that uh, EVD and the uh, virtual device so we will run it here so, this is not a problem to do the previous one Now the installing, the installing. Um, it got installed. So you will see bundle is loading. The native bundle is loading. We will check what is the default page it is native. Once it's over. Okay, this is the default React Native page. So welcome to React. Step one, see what changes. Debug, lot of information they are providing here. So this is the link. Also, uh, this is the reload option. Live hot reloading. So this is the React Native default page. Now, from this project. Is an activity, no main activity is a separate react native activity. Instead of loading one activity, we'll load this react native inside Android fragment. Let's see that first. Before that, we'll create one layout. So, here, resource I'm adding Android resource directory. This is the layout. So, the layout directory. I have added here so now I am creating this source file I named as a name ok yeah. ok so now it's created a name so now I am going to create one button so we will check no button so wrap button have content with this match parent will give your ID so this is what actually we are giving ID uh, react native loader this is the name and uh, click here we need to write some load react method so this is the one button so this is the main activity so here we are we'll remove this react activity instead of that we'll import add compact activity so we can download that here we remove it and we'll um, we we'll, we'll not create method the insert content we are dot you dot main we create a uh, that one will just uh, set content view it is some set content view and we will create that uh, function what function here we mention no load react 
that one will go react with view. So this is the method. This is the layout. Okay. Let's run this uh, changes. We'll check what happened. So it is running. Now we starting. Okay. Uh, here this is the button actually what we design no here button will give it <coughs> name button name so yeah native will give that native and we'll run it again so is from react native Uh, now it's coming the button with react native name so on click it will hit this one we will check with post also So we will run it, we will check that click event. So after that, we will create one fragment class for React Native. In that fragment, we load the React Native. Okay. Now app is got installed on click. Here the click post is coming. So next is the we create one fragment. So Java class we name it React fragment fragment super class is fragment from Android apps. Okay. Now we'll create React a root view. So this one is private. React root view and the uh, instance manager. So React instance manager. So now we are going to instant in initiate that uh, root view and instance manager using that create. Um, actually, not create. Um, create view so this one is going to create that uh, fragment view so here we are initiating the root view equal to new react native root view get that the so it will create the root view and uh, react instance manager equal to now we have main application no using that application we initiate the uh, so we yeah, have native host and the react native instance manager will return the new instance manager so we will initiate the instance manager so we will return that react root view okay and um, attach so here also the same thing we need to do. We have native root view equal to we are going to initiate this network on the start get active see what we want on text and uh, this one that native instance manager equal to that uh, our app ap application get application dot instance manager 
with react native instance manager come on that is the st name that is the name we will find here yeah, this is the initial props so this uh, bundle actually in the react native we will access that so what is the register name where we can check now here we can check that have the json so this is the name we will copy this and more name we will paste this ok this is the react native fragment ok now we are going to create one frame layer for loading this so this way we are using frame layer no? on demand we load the react native not unnecessarily we are, we are not loading the react native on demand only we are loading the react native so here we are so we with this uh, match parent it is app content and uh, we will give id react holder give and uh, that's all so on click we are calling this one now so here only we load that uh, react native fragment using fragment transaction so let's suppose to return so fragment transaction dot replace of dot id dot react holder new react fragment that's all so on click it will load that react native so we'll check we'll run this app we'll check Okay, now this app is loading. Now the uh, React Native button is coming. So I am clicking that button. We'll check. And uh, see, now it's loading React Native as a fragment. So this is the one uh, layer of app, uh, single activity. He has one button, and this is the React Native. Oh, React Native stuff. And that one we are loading as a fragment. This is on demand, on play it will load the react native so this is the one way another way is by default it will load that uh, react native without clicking the react native button for that we have some changes so here no just remove okay, not remove. fragment we can use so with this match wrap content and name so this is what our react native fragment and uh, id id the same id will give here after that we will remove this frame layout not right here for the frame layout so on run now so it will load that react native by default that's our friend so it's loading that uh, react native by default okay that's our friend this is uh, this is how we can integrate react native as a fragment thank you friend